just like Minor Threat did in the 80s. And it's only 20 minutes long, so I'm going to weave some other stuff in. Um, it's going to be a lot of talking. It's going to be some singing. I'm pretty embarrassed about my vocal performance, but we're just going to... We're just going to let it happen. Also, this is going to be indoors, and now that it's outdoors, I'm feeling way more self-conscious. But, uh, you know, maybe the um, motorcycles will keep coming by, and that, those Batman cars or whatever. Um, um, I'll try to sit, uh, announce stuff as it comes. Um, there's going to be some covers. There's going to be some classical music with a twist. I might speak in a different language. This is my drumstick. Um, thank you so much for, for being here. Thank you so much for Riley and Ryan and the comfort station. Um, yeah. This is my re reverb. your mistake, feel embarrassed about trying to speak French to a French person, get on a plane, and go home. Forget most of the French you've learned since you were five years old. Blame it on 9-11. Tell your friends, yeah, I was supposed to go to France on a grade school trip, but then 9-11 happened. Say, ne France, like that's what they call 9-11 in French. <laughs> Say neuf ans, mille neuf cent quatre-vingt-dix ans, which is sort of like saying 1911, because the only years that sound right to you are from the 20th century. Say thank God it wasn't 917. I wouldn't remember how to say that in French. Say every word containing I O N that you hear on news radio. National, situation, anticipation. Insurrection, manifestation, résolution, opinion. C'est opinion. Opinion. C'est that's just like your opinion. Tell your friends, actually, it's la cozy. They did a story on NKL about it. Say that literally everything is magnifique. It's superbe. The most important work since le sacre du printemps. <laughs> Start doing Duolingo just to score more experience points than your roommate as a prank. Run into your scary grade school French teacher on the train who makes a sex joke when they confess that they don't remember you and then think, hey, they're actually kind of cool. Tell them you finally went to France. Say, j'ai allé en France. Say, j'ai allé en France and have them correct your misconjugation of the verb. 
feel embarrassed about your mistake, feel embarrassed about trying to speak French to your French teacher, get off the train and go home. I love French so much. I love speaking French. I'm not good at it, and I don't remember anything, but that's why I wrote that. Here's a song that is in French that I'm going to try to sing. Um, you know when you go to like the opera or you, you watch like a musical in another language and it sounds amazing and then you read the subtitles and it just looks so stupid in English? <laughs> um, I'm gonna do that. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this French song, I'm gonna sing it in English. Um, I'm gonna have my settings here. I love your eyes, I love your brow, oh my rebel, oh my wild one. I love your eyes, I love your mouth, where my kisses shall dissolve. paradise. I love your eyes. I love your brow. Oh, my rebel, my wild one. I love your eyes, but I also love your mouth, where my kisses shall be. all of my vows, oh my well one, oh my rebel, I love your eyes, I love your brow, oh my wild one, oh my rebel, I love your eyes, I love your mouth, where my kisses shall dissolve, where my kisses shall dissolve. Uh, this song is dedicated to Tadino's Pizzeria because they that's that's the pizza I grew up on as a child and they just closed and nobody told me about it and I'm really sad. I think it's turning into another pizzeria, but I don't know. It's still, you know, it's pretty devastating. <laughs> Um, this is called How to Eat Trash Pizza in Public. Find yourself downtown at a very busy intersection. Find one of those solar-powered trash compactors. Find a pizza box from a California Pizza Kitchen on top of the trash compactor, too wide to fit in its mouth. Find three-fourths of a pizza box remaining inside the pizza box. Find blessings in these thy gifts for which you are about to receive from thy bounty. Find that it is not difficult to eat this pizza because of hygienic concerns. Find that it is difficult to eat this pizza because of social norms. Find the courage to grab that pizza box right off the trash compactor. 
find it helpful to imagine that you are in a site-specific performance piece where your sole task is to pick up the pizza box. Find yourself approaching the pizza box slowly as you would an ancient artifact. Find yourself looking straight ahead, making no eye contact with anyone as you slowly lift the pizza box off the trash compactor. Find yourself holding the pizza box for one solemn moment. Find yourself holding the pizza. Find yourself holding. Find yourself holding. Find yourself. Find yourself eating most of the pizza on the bus ride home. Find a particularly unusual flavor within the pizza. Pineapple, banana peppers, something sweet. Find out why the pizza was most likely abandoned. Find satisfaction in knowing that this pizza did not go to waste. Okay, uh, moving on. This one is going to be hard to do. Um, shit, hello? Shit. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to give myself a reverb <laughs> for this one. Um, okay. This is, um, this is a, um, a piece by Ligeti from um, a piano work called the Musica Ricercata, Movement 7, classic. Um, I'm going to scat it <laughs> as I do. Um, okay, here we go. Thank you. 
Okay, now this next thing you're probably asking yourself, Andrew, none of these tutorials make any sense. You can't do them. They're abstract. They're autobiographical. What are you talking about? Well, that's where you're wrong because this next one is called How to Open a Portal with a Friend. And um, I have slight, I have a dozen and a half donuts here, okay? And if you want, you, you can take one and I need you to, to um, partner up. Um, I know that maybe is scary right now, so you don't have to, but if anybody wants to, I've got these donuts. I dropped a few on the ground, but I threw those ones away. Oh, I'm gonna <laughs> stay back here, actually. But if you want a donut, you can take one for this next one because it's interactive and it's, um, it's really good. Um, these ones are vegan, these ones are not. I didn't get any gluten free because they're too expensive. <laughs> Great. And then if you want to just find a spot on the lawn, or if you have two chairs, um, I ask that either either both of you are sitting on the ground or both of you are sitting in chairs. That's sort of the uh, vibe here. This is cool. Um, I never thought I would just sit there. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah. Yeah, there's um, two more non-vegan and four more vegan if anybody wants one. Yeah, just, just partner up, just face your partner. Um, everybody good? Okay, great. 
Okay, this is called, as I said, how to open a portal with a friend. Procure a donut with a hole in its center. Uh, sit on a surface that allows you to face one another. Let your knees touch left to right, right to left, forming a diamond with your legs. Break your donut in half. With your left hand, connect the half of one donut to the half of your partner. Nice. Cross your right hand over your left and connect the remaining halves. Hold them in place. Two circles encrusted, enclosed in a diamond for a long, full breath. Eat your way to the other side. 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 Make your way to the other side. Yeah! Amazing. It's never been done before. Um, okay. Um, the next one is... Oh, Just give me a second here. 
above your head. Begin by falling asleep on the couch. Get nice and cozy on the big comfy couch with all the lights on and the TV on wearing your street clothes. Not that you have pajamas anyway and you didn't brush your teeth and maybe your hair tie is still in and you're not sure if that's what's causing the bald spot at the crown of your head. But you're too tired to take it out and you've lost track of your glasses and it's only a matter of time before you pass out with them on your face and bend the hinge and the next time they fall off your face the right temple breaks off and it'll be right before your big bike trip around Lake Michigan so it's not enough time to get a new pair. You have to ask your roommate to solder the metal back together and it feels pretty solid. You just can't fold them up anymore when you take them off but that's not really an issue because you seem to fall asleep with them on all the time nowadays but they're loose on your face that's for sure so by the time you bike 300 miles to a grimy gas station bathroom in Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin to take a dump in an actual toilet with actual running water and you stand up to wipe your ass. Who does that, by the way? How many adults stand up and hover squat over the toilet to wipe their ass? Is that why your eyes are so ginormous or is it from all the biking? The glasses slip right off your ear and onto the floor and directly under the doom gear and all and yes, just as you predicted, the right temple snaps off again and you have to duct tape it to the frames for the rest of the trip. All 800 miles for each night, sleep in a tent with a pocket by your head with the glasses barely fit into without being folded, just like you zipped up in your sleeping bag where you can no longer sleep with your arms above your head. You zipped up with your arms trapped by your side like a corpse in a casket and you become acutely aware that sleeping just feels like you're practicing being dead and this is where you startle yourself away from couch slumber with the lights and the TV and the clothes and the glasses on and you exclaim, holy shit, I'm gonna die. Like all the time this happens to you, you wake yourself up right after your first REM cycle with a fart of existential dread. Your mind just can't help itself. It just has to poop out this little terrifying reminder before you get to deep sleep. And now you have to find a way to distract yourself into being comfortable again, like taking your pants off, like muting the TV, like pretending you're asleep, like sleeping with your arms above your head. Sleeping in the sun and the grass off the coast of Lake Michigan, your bike behind you, your sole possession, peacefully unattended, your belly full of chilly, cool water from that hose pipe, thinking to yourself, if it were now to die, for now to be much happy. That was your feeling. Oh, yeah. you feeling, and you felt it. You were convinced as strongly as Wolf meant Clarissa to feel it. Begin by falling asleep on the couch and forget the rest until tomorrow night.
Okay, this one takes two minutes. So I think you hold on. Then save the settings. Okay. Um, I might need to hit on this one. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, this is a this is a piece for for uh, choir <laughs> by Miss Anna. I uh, rewrote the lyrics in English. Di different lyrics, but. There's uh, three more donuts left if anyone wants them.
Okay, last one for the evening. This is a new one I've been working on for the last 24 hours. Um, it's called, um, it was inspired by my job. It's called How to Fall Asleep at Work. Perhaps you can relate. Um, okay, thank you so much again to Conversation for having me. Um, this is awesome. So glad we could do this for Parlor Tapes. I forgot the merch, so I don't have my album here, but I think most of you probably have it. It's on Bandcamp. Bandcamp.parlortapes.com. Parlor Tapes with the, uh, it's on the talk board. Okay, uh, anyway, thank you. Thanks to Erica for the Reese's Cups. I'm so excited to eat those. Um, stick around after the show, hang out. This is uh, How to Fall Asleep. Um, at work. Oh, it uh, starts with this news. Thanks, Amanda. One, don't drink coffee. Work in an office that regularly offers coffee, but do not drink it. You drink whatever you find from the whole food donation pile for your job's after school program. Three, sit at your desk and think about what drink you're going to pick for your snack break. Four, ignore the insidious heat seeping into the single event in your office. Five, consider the blue energy drink that looks like Star Wars milk. Six, note that a single bottle of this bougie blue milk is $7, except that you're getting it comp because it's for the kids, but the kids can't drink it because there's too much sugar in it, so you have to drink it or it's going in the trash. Realize that a lot of the sugar you consume is under the pretense of, if I don't, it's going in the trash. One, don't drink coffee for your entire life, but two, drink the blue Star Wars milk that has way more protein and sugar and nutrients than you could possibly need at this job where you basically just, three, sit and look at a bright screen all day. Four, just enough hours to warrant full-time pay with no benefits. Five, convince yourself that the real benefit is the ability to set your own hours. Six, Construct a naively ambitious schedule where you clock in at 7 every morning so you have enough time for your little art project. Should you follow this schedule, either you will go to bed early every night or you will stay up way too late video chatting with strangers and by the middle of the day, one, don't drink coffee. Two, do drink up the whites of the fluorescent lights and the blue greens of the computer screen as you sit in your tiny natural lightless office trying to count and arrange numbers. Three, let your face sink into your palm. Four, ask yourself how an enclosure with such little ventilation could have ever been a film projection room. Five, think about if the projectionist ever slept on the job. Six, put your headphones in and listen to Blue Seven by Sonny Rollins. Mm -hmm.
Recall that this is the era of Spotify when the app's banner photo is a kid napping on a skateboard with his headphones in. A reminder that you can nap just about anywhere so long as you, one, literally drink no coffee. Two, try to count the number of pastries you've eaten from the break room. Can you justify going back for another? Three, let your palm sink into your elbow. Four, take note of when your coworkers are out of the office, probably because it's too hot. Five, compare the heat of the office to the heat of your laptop when you take it to bed with you. Which one feels worse? Six, imagine that being thrust into randomly generated video chat rooms is probably what seven minutes in heaven feels like. Either something magical happens or you fall asleep. Don't count how many hours you'll need for your REM cycle, just pick a number that sounds good to you. One, your professor used to roast his own coffee beans. Did he struggle to stay awake in class? Two, recall a sluggish day in music theory resuscitated by an anecdote. Gunther Schuller wrote an essay that detailed how Sonny Rollins' saxophone solo was note by note a structurally orchestrated masterpiece and it scared the musician out of reading reviews about himself three remember nothing else from that day except that your elbow was probably as it is now collapsing into your death four the heat is blasting and you're all alone set a timer for a half of a half of a REM cycle Five, consider laying under your desk to avoid direct contact with the lights. Six, imagine Sonny Rollins trying to fall asleep, shaken, superstitious. Did I play the seventh because I wanted to or because I had to? One, find yourself in Chinese class two mornings each week. So much for the schedule. Two, Recall your friend telling you she recently dreamt in a foreign language as to confirm that she was now fluent. Three, let your desk sink into the dark green carpet. Four, heat is the result of energy expended. Five, allow the Spotify browser to serve as your nightlight, a black and green color scheme. Six, perpetually in dark mode, which makes sense. Seven times out of 10, we listen to our music at night. The only light remaining is the screen of the laptop, cycling through visage after visage. 